Good morning. This is Pastor Steve with your message of hope this morning. And uh, we're going to be looking at a particular passage from Galatians chapter 5, uh, beginning with verse 13, which says, You, my brothers, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command, love your neighbor as yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. You know, I, I talked Sunday about the importance of standing, that Jesus told us that uh, when everything gets really bad, that, that uh, we're supposed to stand firm in the truth. And those who stand to the end will be saved. And that we're put, to put on the full armor of God, the Bible tells us, so that we can stand firm. And so uh, one of my friends showed me a passage in the Bible he'd read that morning that said, where Jesus also said, the way not to be able to stand is it said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So we as individuals are to stand, but we are to seek as a community to be able to stand together. And uh, I was thinking about how difficult sometimes that can be. Uh, for example, in our current situation, I, I noted uh, the other day a little conversation between Troy Vincent, who is the uh, assistant to the commissioner of the NFL football and a sports writer. And they both cited Jesus. Uh, Troy Vincent was talking about how, why uh, they needed to promote Black Lives Matter because he's a Christian and uh, Jesus would want that. And the sports writer, uh, who is also a Christian, re retorted that Black Lives Matter, the organization, was a Marxist organization, atheistic in its nature and of course he said Jesus wouldn't want you to support an atheistic Marxist organization and I thought how, what an interesting exchange both sided opposite sides of the coin and uh, cited their faith in Christ to justify what they were doing but the the difficulty in the situation, and you, you, I'm sure you have an op opinion about that, uh, but the difficulty is they talked right past each other. And so even though both cited that they were Christians and had a faith, uh, they were just using their faith to argue a point against the other one. And I thought how, how different that would have conversation would have been had they been able to do as Bonhoeffer said in life together and that is meet each other in their place of commonality and that is Christ I'm different Bonhoeffer says we don't all always going to agree on everything uh, but if we know Christ the thing we can agree on is that Christ has died for you as well as I, me. Uh, he has accepted you and forgiven you as well as I. And you and I can meet in that truth and we can have that discussion in light of the fact that we both are in Christ. And I think that is, you know, the Bible tells us Christ came to break down and tear down the walls that separate us and help us to see one another as brothers and sisters. And that would have been a very different conversation if instead of focusing on the issue that divided them, if they both focused on the fact that they met each other in Christ and how could they work together to promote racial justice and harmony? And how often do we use our faith not as the primary thing we're talking about, but to, to argue with somebody and then back it up with scripture or with our faith.
we're really using our faith as a secondary part of the conversation. And what Bonhoeffer says, if we're really ever going to follow the scripture here, that we don't use our freedom to indulge what we want, but that we serve one another in love, we love our neighbors as ourselves, that we can meet each other in the place of where Christ is in our lives. And then we can talk about the other issues and be able to work together. Hopefully, uh, this is a time where many of us as Christians not only can learn this great biblical truth, but can teach this and help other people to see this. Because we are, are living in time if we're not careful as the scripture says, if we keep on, keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or we will be destroyed by each other. A warning from scripture, but a message of hope that we can, even in conflict, serve one another in love uh, because Christ loves us. And that's our message of hope for the day. Thank you.